so hello and welcome to today's session uh, so today we'll be taking a bird time rectification so here i will be talking about uh, what are the techniques that are there using which we can rectify the bird time so in many cases what happen is uh, when a native comes to an astrologer and asks that uh, uh, these are my queries but uh, unfortunately i don't have the correct time of birth so what are the techniques that a astrologer can use uh, through which you can get to or you can approach with a correct time of birth so most of the cases it has happened to me as well uh, actually uh, when i was in bangalore uh, so one of my friend he told me that his time of birth was somewhere around 5 uh, in the morning but I, when i checked it uh, quite thoroughly it came out to be around 740 so there is many such cases like even for my case i rectified my time of birth very precise to 2 minutes so earlier it was some 340 i rectified it to 338 so the birth time rectification usually takes a lot of time and it is a very tedious process uh, at least if you want to uh, know the correct time of birth it takes a lot of time even for me to get to the correct time of birth even for myself um, it took me around some uh, i would say uh, one hour of complete detailed analysis and pinpointing each and every event that at what phase it happened and it has to be in synchrony with uh, your dasha that you are going through then only it fits perfectly fine so let okay okay so here are few techniques using which you can uh, use so first of all which the technique which i started with is um, verifying it with events so let's say uh, a particular event that has happened in your life uh, it should have happened in a particular dasha like i said earlier that like, uh, leaving a job and resigning from a job happens only in dasha of saturn Uh, or ketu or rahu so these are the main significator of uh, separation from the current organization so actually a few days back also i got a uh, request from one of my friend he was working with me in my previous company and he left that company uh, so and even there uh, he had a problem with his time of birth and so uh, first clue that i got that uh, either his shani dasha rahu dasha or ketu dasha must be in operation when he was uh, when he resigned so that was the first clue after that uh, when i checked his chart uh, it came out that his mars mahadasha and saturn antar dasha was in operation so he left the job i think somewhere around in 2015 may and since 2014 november his mars mahadasha okay. and saturn antar dasha started so that was the point okay. for me but the time which he gave was completely out of uh, you know out of synchronization so that was quite clear indication for me that that phase should be within saturn dasha and like he said uh, he said me at that time that his uh, entire that saturn dasha was quite painful for him he resigned the job and he he was in bangalore then and he went to chennai to look for some other job because he uh, actually at that time he didn't have the job and i think for 6 months he was okay. without the job and when his saturn dasha ended and mercury dasha started so he got a new job so tell me one thing i have taken a session before as well and i have told you that a certain planet has a certain significance so right in in the in the dasha of mercury what kind of company he must have got into or what kind of organization you would have been a part of uh, something to do with uh, communication i guess because mercury is a significator of that yeah uh, true uh, and uh, apart from that you should also look for that mercury dasha is around 17 years and mercury is a benefic yeah. planet uh, so right and again from that uh so obviously we must have gotten a better job and uh, 
I think something is something that he was wanting to do. Yeah. And uh, in the communication side, so uh, could be something to do with the media or something. So yeah, uh, one thing that I have noticed is so uh, even I have started working with an IT. So one thing I have noticed in IT that most of the people who are there. Uh, so uh, i'm talking about the big it companies like let's say dcs or accenture wipro so which are there all around the world okay. so in those companies most of the people are either having jupiter dasha venus dasha okay. or mercury dasha all the many uh, benefit okay. planets that are in operation and if someone is in okay. uh, having uh, someone is having saturn dasha or rahu or ketu dasha then uh, just keep in mind that th those people are working in odc specific or a client location so this thing i have also okay. seen in most of the charts that uh, once so you're, you're talking about the mahadasha or the antardasha aspect? specifically antardasha okay because antardasha is like uh, most uh, more, uh, like a shorter period of time mahadasha spans a bit yeah, yeah, yeah correct mm. uh, correct so uh, even for one of uh, so uh, as i was talking about that so uh, for most of the people that i have seen um, when their uh, we uh, jupiter dasha was in progress so they were working in uh, as, as i said uh, so one of my friend was working in cognizant and uh, he was there in a very good project but uh, once his saturn dasha started his, uh, he went to a ODC uh, specific uh, region or a ODC, ODC specific floor. So there what happened is his access was restricted. His uh, mail was restricted. He cannot mail to some other person. And also there was some other kind of restriction put into. So, you know, when Saturn comes into picture, there is kind of restriction that okay. so Saturn comes mm -hmm. with a boundary, uh, comes with a ring. And whenever Saturn Dasha is there, there has to be some kind of restriction. Okay. So this is what I find, uh, or this is what you can see is my findings. So, uh, like I said earlier, all your findings or, or all your research comes in uh, comes in when you go through many charts. So that is why keep practicing. You will learn new things. so coming back to this and also uh, uh, let me tell you one uh, one more incident so what happened is one of my friend uh, uh, he was uh, i think uh, he passed out in 2014 and then uh, he did not get a job uh, till the 2014 uh, november or december and after that his uh, shani mahadasha and venus antardasha started so Venus Antardasha started in December 2014, towards the end of the year. And once it started, within few months, he got into IBM. So IBM, again, is a very good multinational company, is quite renowned. So right. again, right. the feature of, uh, you know, benefic planet coming into picture, that planets like mm -hmm. Venus and Jupiter or Mercury, whenever their Dasha is in progress, you will get into a multinational company quite high chances and okay. if it in case of saturn or some other planets chances are quite high that you will be working in a odc restricted company or let's say in a captive or it could be even like a startup okay okay so first of all uh, bird time rectification mm -hmm try to uh, analyze using these events so let's say whenever that event has occurred in the life of the native try to examine that try to understand that when it happened when the shift happened and somewhere around that uh, period that uh, dasha must have also changed so this is the first clue that you will get second is uh, nature of the native so what do you mean by nature of the native is that so once you analyze the chart you will get a feeling about the person that how the person is and what will be the nature or so and so so based on that like uh, for one of my friend what happened like i said earlier he gave his time of birth somewhere around five and i said that no it should be 7 40. So when I cross-checked with his personality that which one fits better, then I got that no, 
on the one of 740 should seem completely fine and okay. I, also i tried to fine tune the dasha so why i said exactly 740 not uh, 739 or uh, 741 there is a uh, reason to it the reason is uh, because he was staying very close to me so i observed that when he was ill or he was not feeling well so during that time um, i predicted that he must be going to ketu dasha or some malefic dasha that could be the reason okay. that he was not feeling well so what happened is for around eight days uh, he had some uh, issues with his health and i said that uh, ketu dasha or ketu sukshma dasha was an operation for exactly eight days or close to eight days so i said that no this period should overlap or should should be in the same time okay. this ketu right, sukshma right. dasha for eight days and his poor health for eight days should have been in the same time phase so using that i predicted it should be 740 so nature is mainly your ascendant look at the ascendant look at the uh, nakshatra of the ascendant uh, what it is based on that and try to justify but more than this i think uh, the first method cross checking with the events is uh, most uh, better technique though it is time consuming you have to go through all the events and understand that which event is more impactful and which is not so it is time consuming but yeah, results what you get through uh, cross checking with events is far more better than any other technique and again if you okay. don't have the correct time of birth of that native you can go refer to the birth chart of siblings or parents so that will also give you an idea what should be the chart of the native so one thing you can notice is even if you check your chart and compare it with your parents chart you will find that some of the combination is common for you and your father or let's say your mother it has to be common because some things uh, is, uh, as a planetary language it is also inherited in a uh, child's birth chart and this thing i have noticed for a lot of or it let's say 100 percent it has to match so that will also give you a clue that uh, which should be the correct time of birth but sometimes happens is uh, uh, i'd say that uh, there is a bit of mismatch or uh, things don't go as you predicted so for one case it has happened to me even i was not able to get the correct time of birth because let's say i don't have the uh, sufficient number of events to cross check or you know uh sometimes what happens is you perceive something else about the event and what actually happens to you is something else so that is also uh, uh you know the personal bias comes into picture that for me i think it has happened bad but for some people they say that no it has right. happened quite good so that personal bias right. comes into picture so i think for those reasons also i was not able to get the correct uh, prediction And apart from that, you, you can also find some other techniques also for birth time rectification. But uh, if you talk about me, what I have used, these are the main things that I have mainly worked with. So let us now take that example of where I said that uh, this person must have, uh, he said that he was born in early in the morning, but he was not sure about his time. And I said that, no, your time of birth should be exactly 7.40. So let us see the horoscope and try to understand. Now, first of all, uh, his uh, now let's say if he was born in around uh, five thirty or five in the morning, these all planetary alignments would have been in second house. Moon would have been here, Mercury here, Mars here. Uh, Rahu yes, here yes. and Saturn here. So uh, shifting uh, to one house back, shifting them all, uh, shifting all of the planets. So that is where I thought: uh, is it matching with the personality, or is it okay? So I tried to, you know, uh, cross check it again and again. So I thought that no, there's something is missing because uh, if you look at the person, he was uh, his personality was quite good. Uh, just uh, from the first glance you can see uh, you can tell that uh, that 
the way his personality is it, it is quite charming so i thought that no it shouldn't be in the second house if it has to be charming then lord of ascendant should have been uh, should be there and because it is sun in the ascendant conjoined with fifth house jupiter and also a effect of venus and these benefic planets combined together with the ascendant should have given this result right so that that was the first thing that came into my mind so i thought of okay let's change the ascendant and put it here then also he said that he was going in a relationship and for some reason that relationship break broke up so let us move to the coordinate chart so what was the timing so i think so yeah somewhere here so uh, like you can see here it is all good in venus it is good because venus is again the natural significator of a relationship so venus doesn't have right. a negative coordinates related to a breakup of uh, or relationship breakup breakup of relationship when but when you look at sun and moon 5 at 12 is there and i told you about 5 at 12 and also 5 6 at 12 5 6 is there yes along with that 8 12 so here 5 6 is not there 5 at 12 is there but here 5 6 at 12 so the first thing that came into my mind that it should have happened in this dasha so again moon is here and also if you note uh, just because moon is there uh, breakup cannot happen there has to be a uh, I, sh- i should say a malefic planet in the conjunction of uh, malefic dasha malefic planet so then only it will right. take place so here it was jupiter moon and then rahu okay Ra- so in february uh, february around 2016 he had his breakup so from here i got the second clue and the event which i was talking about that uh, he was not well for uh, some days uh, it was there in this jupiter and here ketu here so here it was so mercury was there for some days and after that ketu started so this was the time period when he was not well so this helped me actually to so because uh, first of all what i did is uh, verifying the uh, time of birth using previous uh, incidents and now if i have rectified the time of birth correctly then it should match with the future events as well so to match with the future event this was the only chance for me to get right, right. makes sense mm-hmm. yeah so uh, it matched also correctly so that is where i concluded that this should be is correct time of birth and though uh, oh. right now i have explained you in few minutes only but uh, at that time it took me around an hour to comprehend the entire situation and analyze that what could have been the correct ascendant and what could have been the correct dasha what he was going through yeah because uh, uh, once if we were if you start out at 5 am and then you have to mm-hmm. go up all the way to 7:40 there are like I think thousands of combinations that you'll have to check before you yeah. arrive at the answer. Correct, correct, correct. So first uh, thing was uh, quite clear that it his ascendant has to be Leo. So for that, if you see, if it is a Leo ascendant and it is seven degree now, so Leo ascendant sh- must have started somewhere around seven because it is seven degree. So multiply it by four, it is twenty four. I'm sorry. Yeah, 20, 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 
so it is seven degree and few minutes so let's say 30 minutes so leo ascendant should have started somewhere around 7 10 so anything before 7 10 is all um, automatically rejected so i cannot accept anything before 7 10 it has to be any something after 10, 7 10. Mm, okay so that was the first clue that i got and after that uh, matching with with the dasha that i have so this was one and let's uh, now i have one more example so let me move to that and explain so that was a pretty simple one this was this took me some time but that was pretty simple now this chart this chart i mapped it correctly to even precise second so first of all i got to know that uh, his time of birth is 640 now i rectified it to exactly the second so for okay. getting it right till the second you have to be very precise or actually you have to observe the person very closely and then you only you can get to the correct time correct second so first of all the uh, so i uh, so first thing that time was more or less correct so 6 40 it was more or less close to the correct time now but on the only thing that was the, the problem was that few uh, microscopic event was were there in his life uh, which has to match with the dasha that he was undergoing and that did not so there was a bit of you know no, mismatch with them so using that i thought of let let me try to rectify it so so how much of a difference uh, does it make like uh, in the timing of a particular uh, so let's say a mahadasha itself mm -hmm. if you are uh, changing the time of birth by like one minute or two minutes okay uh, so see it depends uh, it completely depends so uh, if you remember i told you about how mahadasha is calculated at the time of your birth um, so do you yeah you to told us about it like uh, it actually i don't remember the entire thing but uh, uh, it actually uh, there is a period where the mahadasha is started and mm -hmm. uh, when you are born we uh, actually calculate how many years of the Mahadasha is still left for you and that's how we proceed correct, I guess correct. right yeah so first thing I told you that uh, nakshatra starts from Ashwini second is Bharni third is Kritika so right. here his nakshatra is Aries sign Bharni nakshatra and if you know every nakshatra is 13 degree 20 minutes here it is showing that moon is 20 degree and 21 minutes so out of that 13 degree so let's okay. say some uh, six degrees some minutes have already passed or i think close to seven degree because it is 21 so some close to seven degree has already passed out of those 13 degree 20 minutes so venus dasha you know that it is around um, uh, 20 years so I will subtract those portion of the dasha from Venus which has already passed here. So 7 out of 13, uh, 13 degree 20 minutes I will subtract okay. that and using that. So uh, there is a catch. Uh, what happens is if a dasha like Venus is in operation during your birth or if you are born in the nakshatra of Venus. So even a slight change in the uh, birth time will make a lot of significance because it is entirely in uh, 20 years so let's say if you are right. born in the very next minute a, a minute part of 20 years might pass so that might be minute but uh, because it is of 20 years it will make a lot of impact on your birth time or, or let's say in, even in dasha your dasha that has been okay. calculated so, so basically if you are born in a dasha that uh, spans a shorter period of time it will be difficult to actually arrive at the correct time so uh, yeah. as compared to venus correct, or correct. rahu or some the dashas that are actually longer correct uh, so uh, in that case let's say sun sun is the least uh, um, 
longest duration i would say so the least duration right. of all the dasha six years only so in that case you won't have much scope of rectification because even changing it by few seconds that won't change so but in venus if i change it by few seconds there will be a change of uh, sukshma dasha changing by a day or a by two days but in case of someone okay. born getting born in sun dasha uh, that uh, impact won't be there so this was one thing so what led me to you know, suggest that he was born in this time on this second so let us try to analyze this so there was not much scope of rectification left there it was quite straightforward so first hint that i got is here is mercury dasha and it was in 2016 september early september so here is ketu dasha started it was only for some time but if you see uh, so let's say starting from uh, 2nd of september early morning so the time he woke up after that and that entire day and next uh, day for some time so let's say 18 hours so first of all what all can you predict using this or what indication it gives to you so some health issues i guess for two days or something health issue it could be uh, even what happens in in ketu dasha so whatever be the reason it has to be very hectic uh, let's say even if you are facing some health issue you have to rush to the doctor and get your blood test done uh, so in a way right. it becomes quite hectic day for you so let's say if you are completely fit you are not having any disease so in ketu what might happen is you might uh, get a bit agitated or you might be a bit frustrated for some reason or your day has to be quite hectic due to work or some other yeah due so, to some reason or the other there will be some uh, problem yeah, for you there has during that period problem or i would say a lot of workload will be quite hectic okay. uh from unknown reason you might get uh, so many work that uh, you 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 haven't thought of so okay. first of all i uh, told him that uh, so what happened is on 1st of september he told me that uh, my uh, interview is going to be processed tomorrow on 2nd of september so i told him that uh, Uh, the entire day will be quite hectic you might not get results as you have expected you have to wait a long uh, uh, in queue for your turn for the interview and it happened exactly the same so not exactly but uh, in a similar pattern so what happened is on 2nd of september it rained a lot it rained so heavily that uh, uh, the water logging was there and he has to uh, get to the interview venue in half band because he cannot wear full pant and cross that area so and carry his shoes in another okay. packet so so that he can go to the interview venue and there he can change so in that way it was quite hectic again uh, when he was interviewed his turn was scheduled uh, after some time and he was called i think after 4 uh, hours late late to what it was scheduled so again he has to wait and he was quite frustrated with that day so i said that that frustration will be there okay. but uh, what is uh, what is looking good and what looks promising that the very next day venus dasha is coming or it is starting so it could be uh, so that you have to wait along for your turn or you might be frustrated first day but at the end of the third day or third september i think results will be in your favor because here venus is in because his lagnesh is also venus venus is placed in the ascendant itself so very good yoga so i said that uh, 
just bear what is going you are going through i think results and will be in your favor and it happened in the same way they call you crack that interview pretty interesting mm. so this actually helped me to rectify it so using this event actually it helped me to rectify his uh, uh, time of birth precisely to the second because i came to know that uh, at what uh, time he was offered uh, he was actually selected and he was let uh, he was informed that you were selected so each and every okay information that was there with me so uh, there was no uh, you know a crisis of information for me to make a um, fair analysis there okay but in other cases you might not have all the information so here i had and uh, actually the results were good even for me i felt very good that for the first time i have made such a good prediction that um, it was precisely to the second so yes, pretty impressive getting that so ankit uh, uh, you actually rectified the time for this person from 640 to 649 uh, 641 39 seconds correct, correct. so that's uh, that's a difference of just one and a half minutes mm -hmm. so uh, at the time that uh, we were born mm -hmm. uh, i think most of us what the thing is that uh, the clocks were not digital and uh, mm -hmm. people used to use analog clocks so mm -hmm. most of i think uh, most of the horoscopes that we see uh, nowadays mm -hmm. would have some scope of birth time correction because yeah. nowadays we have cell phones and uh, all the clocks are synchronized almost to the second you can say mm -hmm. but th those days that was not possible so i think uh, even our birth data that we have it mm -hmm. could be you know there could be some room there is always some room for error like 5 10 minutes uh, you know less or more correct and also in astrology uh, what is correct time of birth nobody's or astrologers have a conflict regarding this concept so some say that uh, when mother delivers a child uh, when he is out of the womb at that time it should be birth uh, that should be your birth time someone says that when umbilical right. cord is cut at, and that should be your first uh, that should be your time of birth second third uh, right. people say that when you cry for the first time that should be your time of birth so there is a conflict so i have actually uh, i have actually heard another one like when you take your first breath that is the time that you are uh that is the time that should be considered but yeah. it's obviously not possible to go down to that granularity and figure out the exact time yeah yeah that is true so uh, uh, one astrologer was taking a session and he told that uh, uh, in these days what you can do is you can bribe the nurse and ask her to uh, maintain a digital clock uh, ask her to take a digital clock with her and record times for all the three uh, events that has happened when mother delivers yeah. when the child is out of the womb when the umbilical cord is cut third when the when uh, if you get a feeling that child has taken a breath or when the child has cried for the first time okay so using this time you can uh, you know actually get to a right conclusion that which should be considered a correct time of birth mm. but anyway uh, sounds pretty interesting mm. but yeah astrologers do have a conflict in this uh, topic that what should be the correct time of birth or which one should be considered and also so taking uh, talking about this chart so now if i have rectified the time of birth it should have matched with the upcoming events future events also so let me tell you one more thing here so 4th of uh, february it was the sunday his gate examination was scheduled and he was uh, studying quite hard for gate and if you ch check here his ketu dasha started last year in july and continued on the day so this is 5th of uh, february that means early morning or Does after just, just after midnight so fourth he appeared right. for uh, his gate examination and on the very next day his venus dasha started so you can see he was quite tense and quite stressed up with his gate examination for his preparation and just after the, uh, just next day 
you it see so uh, you know astrology uh, then i realized that uh, how wonderful our rishis have designed this astrology so even when you go through many such charts you will find that uh, the results are quite astonishing at some stages so now he is quite cool now and he is done with his exams so and also he as he, as i said earlier that he got through in that job so he is working in the same company so this was from my side for birth time rectification so if you have any questions or if you want to have a discussion we can have so yeah, this uh, sounds pretty interesting it would be uh, great to actually try and uh, mm -hmm. work this out on my own chart i guess mm -hmm. yeah you can uh, so for uh, i think for the first day or uh, you might be scratching your head that uh, what should have been the correct uh, you know time or what should have been the correct dasha to judge the first day it might mm -hmm. happen and it might also happen that you might have to reject your first proposal because the future events are not matching with the proposed time then you have to again revise right. it and then uh, i think after two three iteration it will be perfectly fine what uh, the what conclusion you come up with okay so try not only on your chart also people you whom you have closely observed right right because uh, you can actually get the accurate data for uh, you know small little happenings in their lives mm -hmm. and that can as you have shown in these examples those those things can be pretty helpful in mm -hmm. figuring out the exact time of birth yeah so any more thing not for now okay okay then we are good to close for today